Hello, I am Seema and welcome to part 14 of the chapter Chemical Kinetics. This is the English version of the video. If you wish to see it in Hindi, I will be putting the link of the Hindi version in the description box. So please click that and proceed from there. But right now, I am going to start with this video. The topic of this video, as the previous video is, temperature dependence of the rate of a reaction. And in this, I explained the Arrhenius equation to you and I told you how Maxwell and Boltzmann through their distribution curve explained why just by increasing the temperature of a chemical reaction by 10 degrees, the rate constant doubles up. And in that, I told you about the activation energy and how the uh, that the fraction of molecules which are present which have energy greater than activation energy doubles and therefore the rate also doubles. Now according to the Arrhenius equation, the equation is K that is rate constant is equal to A where A is the Arrhenius factor or the frequency factor and it is also known as a pre-exponential factor because it is below, before the exponential form here. So E to the power of Ea, where Ea is the activation energy, R is gas constant and T is the absolute temperature. You have already understood this and in case you do not uh, get what I am telling you till now, I would encourage you to watch the previous video. Now when you look at this equation mathematically, what do you understand? E is raised to a negative power of Ea upon Rt. You know, how would E increase if this was not negative? If Ea increases, E should increase. If T, R is constant and if temperature increases, it is temperature is in the denominator. Therefore, overall the value decreases and therefore E should decrease. But since this exponential value is a negative value, therefore whatever you expect, the opposite of that would be happening. That is, if Ea is increased, you would expect E also to increase. But E decreases if Ea increases because it's a negative value. So being a negative value, everything becomes the reverse. So what do we understand from this? That this shows, this equation shows that an increase in temperature or a decrease in activation energy causes an increase in the rate of reaction and an exponential increase in the value of k because it's an exponential value so it it causes an exponential increase in the value of k if you take log on both sides of this equation you'll get ln k which is equal to the exponential part will come down e to the power of anything the uh, natural log of it would be minus ea upon rt and A would be log A and multiplied, anything multiplied would become a plus. So plus ln A. This is the equation that you get. That ln K is equal to minus Ea upon RT plus ln A. In order to remove the exponential part, we have turned it into the natural log. Now, if we plot a graph between ln K and 1 upon T, we get a straight line. Right? And when we get a straight line, what are the things that you would get? The slope would be equal to Ea upon R. We plotted a graph between ln k and 1 upon t. So Ea upon R is left, that would be the slope of the curve. And ln A would be the intercept, that point where the, uh, the line or the slope will cut the uh, y-axis or the ln k. So ln k would be cut at the intercept which is ln a. So from this uh, graph you can you can calculate ea and a values using the values that you get in this graph and from the slope and from the intercept now let us assume that we have we carry out a reaction at two different temperatures at temperature t1 and at temperature t2 and we apply the arrhenius equation at both the temperatures for the same reaction you remember i told you a that is the arrhenius factor is constant for a reaction so for any chemical reaction, the value of A is fixed. So if we carry out the reaction at two different temperatures, let us say T1 and T2, T1 and T2 will be different. The rate constant at different temperatures is different. So rate constant for T1 will become K1, for T2 will become K2. 
but A will remain A because A is constant for any type of reaction irrespective of the conditions. So we say at temperature T1, this equation becomes ln K1 is equal to minus Ea upon Rt1 plus ln A, which remains as such. Let's call this equation 3. And at temperature T2, ln K2, ln K becomes K2. So ln K2 would be equal to minus Ea upon R, T becomes T2 plus ln A again remains the same. So if we subtract 3 from 4, ln A and ln A, if you subtract from it, would, be, would get cancelled. So subtracting 3, equation 3 from equation 4, ln K2 minus ln K1. So you're removing ln K1 from ln K2. So ln K2 minus ln K1 would be equal to, now, ln A, ln A is cancelled. So minus Ea RT2 minus minus Ea upon RT1. So minus minus becomes plus. So we'll write Ea upon RT1 minus Ea upon RT2. It is just the signs that we have taken care of and arranged it in this manner. So ln, ln K2 minus ln K1 can be written as ln K2 upon K1. So because anything ln K multiplication is plus in log and subtraction is division. So, uh, sorry, when you have uh, addition, that, uh, that means multiplication when you remove the uh, log. And if you have subtraction, it means it is, it is actually uh, division. So, ln K2 upon K1 would be equal to Ea, we take Ea and R are common. So, we take them common outside and we are left with 1 upon T1 minus 1 upon T2. Now, we are just mathematically rearranging this. We know if we want to change the natural log to log to the base 10, we need to multiply by 2.303. Anything that you have to change from ln to log, you will have to multiply that quantity by 2.303 and then write log. So this becomes 2.303 log k2 upon k1 is equal to, this remains the same, ea upon r, and we calculate this. t1 into t2 and cross multiply t2 minus t1. So we'll get t1, t2 in the denominator and t2 minus t1 in the numerator. So this becomes, if we take 2.303 on the other side, we get log k2 upon k1 is equal to ea upon 2.303 r into t2 minus t1 upon t1, t2. So this is the mathematical, finally, uh, when you have uh, a reaction which is conducted at two different temperatures, you can modify the Arrhenius equation and this comes out to be the value for considering both of them. So log K2 upon K1 is equal to Ea upon 2.303 R in the bracket T2 minus T1 upon T1 T2. So this is the equation that we will be using in the numerical problems that we'll be doing after this. I'll do those two numerical the solved examples in the next video. And with this, I'll wind up today's short video. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, recommend it to your friends, and please keep returning for more videos in chemistry. Thank you for watching and bye-bye for now.